Tonight, nearly 200 Nashville families are just months away from a change, and it could impact their family for generations to come. I was there as people got a first look at what will be their new homes and talked to the woman who fought to make it a reality. From the wind-torn sign to the garbage littering the gated complex, 197 families in Nashville's Berkshire Place apartments have reluctantly called this their home. The buildings are very old. Um, we have like mold inside of our apartments. Um, they barely fix things. But even that was about to go away. This subsidized housing complex is at the end of its lease, meaning all of these families would be without a place to stay. And the old place was going away, period. It was going away. Berkshire Place Apartments was dilapidated. We've been there 22 years, and you couldn't do anything else to fix it. Pastor Glenda Sutton with Family Affairs Ministry couldn't let that happen. She teamed up with Trent Development Group for the land and construction, then convinced the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development to get on board. And when he saw what was in an old place, whew, what was in an old place, and he asked me, he said, what, what can happen? I said, opportunity. And everybody agreed and said amen. amen. An opportunity we got to see firsthand as people boarded a bus for a 12-mile trip to New Beginnings. It's time for a new thing, for a new thing. I'm the one. I'm the one. To make it happen. To make it happen. You heard the old saying that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it's going to take a whole community to make a new village. That new village is Birchstone Village in Madison. Behind the noise of nail guns and miter saws, an apartment complex with one, two, and three bedroom apartments and high-end amenities like washers and dryers, like a community center, a playground, and commercial kitchen for cooking lessons. I feel like this is a this is just the beginning for um, all of us. Like this is a start for this is gonna be a start for us. All 197 families have the option to move here without an increase in their subsidized rent and without a deposit. Sutton hopes this project becomes a model for how HUD develops subsidized housing. Uh, it's a blessing, um, especially from where I'm coming from. But when you dream, your dream always involves somebody else. So here's an opportunity for people to dream and involve their neighbors and involve the community and, and a community to support the dream. What an amazing story. The first tenants are set to move into the new place in the spring of next year. Moving is expensive and Sutton is trying to find partners to help with that as well.